Hey, I'm Renda. I'm one of the 24-7 youth workers at Green Bay High School. What I love about youth is um, just their enthusiasm, that they can make a difference in the world. Um, and it's so cool because I think as we grow older, a lot of us get a bit jaded and, and kind of forget that. I was born in South Africa. Me and my family moved here when I was eight years old and I didn't know any English at the time except for the little bit that I picked up off TV. I remember as an eight year old having to go back to a new entrance class when I first started at school here just to learn English. I was really blessed by having teachers who, who really actually did believe in me and invested in me. One big life changing thing for me was at 16 I went to Fiji and basically just served the local community there. It was a real eye opener in terms of just how blessed we are in New Zealand. I guess I just developed a real passion for um, being there for people and the tough stuff. Rena has often described herself as the big sister, the role between the students and the teachers. And I think that's really important for high school students because I know for me, I don't have an older sister. So I find it really helpful that she kind of puts herself there. Primarily, um, you know, you build the relationships and then when stuff goes on in their life, they know they've got that adult that they can talk to about what's going on. So it's, it's a real very day and, and you can never really predict what the day is going to bring. What do you need to get to get into engineering? Uh, 60 NCA credits above um, merit. So you try and get all of those next year. Yeah, yeah sounds good. My main role is just building relationships with the students and supporting them however that looks. So for me it's been a lot of one-on-one -on -one mentoring and often we'll use this space right here, the caravan, to do that. donated to us by the For Everyone Charitable Foundation which was founded by some of the All Blacks. We had a few young people help us to rip everything out and, and we've done it all up. Kids notice it as they walk past and they often all just pop in and come and have a chat. Uh, it's been a really valuable space for us to use to build those relationships. It's really important for me to be available to all sorts of different students, so whether it's the leaders or whether it's the students who are going through a really rough time. But for me, I have a real heart that wants to bring restoration to people. I kind of made it my mission to seek out the kids who are kind of the, the naughty kids, um, the down and out kids who are going through a really tough time. One of the kids I kind of got to know through that was a girl called Sabrina. So I called her up and she just started to tell me about, the, about her background and her life. And I was just gobsmacked at how much someone of her age has had to go through. I feel like I've missed my teenage years. I feel so much older than I actually am. Um, just because of life experiences I've had to like, grow up. She kind of just got in with this crowd because she wanted somewhere to belong. She wanted to be a part of a group, um, be accepted. But it really led her down quite a destructive track and she got to the point of being at her last morning in school. I used to be one of the people that would be on like the backfield and like do naughty stuff <laughs> until it really got serious and then it just made me realise that I didn't want to live my life like that. That was when I was called on to basically help her come up with this plan, talk her through so what's going on, what do we want to change, how are we going to change that, what supports are we going to bring around you to, to help you to bring those sorts of changes. For me, it's kind of one of those things. If I hadn't met Renda, I wouldn't be the person I was today. Mm.